Hello everyone, Sausage Wizard here. Normally, I make game end videos, or just silly videos. But this, this is not silly, nor is a game in. This is wacky. I went to America, that's right. And I survived, which is frankly surprising. But that's not all. Find out in the thrilling miniseries that I like to call Sausage Goes to America! It all started on the fateful day of June 22nd. I had to wake up at 3 in the morning, but I don't get to sleep until pretty late, so I just pull an all-nighter, if you can even call it that. It's currently 3 o'clock in the morning. Thankfully, I had everything packed and ready. And I was going to be using my phone and my trusty camera that I bought in Finland four years ago to record my experience. Anyway, I obviously packed the essentials. Packed some Minecraft books. And also Animal Farm by George Orwell. I was all set to go to the beautiful city of Orlando, Florida. You can tell why the survival part was important. So we made our way to the airport. But I realized the problem straight away. In order for us to get from the beautiful land of Ireland to the land of freedom, we need to fly to Britain. To any of my British viewers, if you are offended by my remark, stay mad. It is not my fault that you were born in a mid-country. You must think going to Britain is bad. Well, guess what? We have to go to England to get to America. This is horrifying news to me. On the plane to England, I had that bag that you use for throwing up in case my allergies start up. By the way, I'm allergic to England. I didn't throw up, but I was petrified more than anything. While above the clouds, I realized that they look like snow, so I took a video of them. Also, I made an observation while re-watching this footage. The plane noise sounds like a slowed down fart sound with reverb. And before you say, No, Sassy Clinton, it's not. May I add, they hated Jesus because he spoke the truth. After landing in England, we quickly rushed to our plane into America. Thank God. So anyway, we were on the plane and we got some food, which was nice. And there was movies and TV shows on the screen, which was also nice. What wasn't nice though was how absolutely disgusting the food was. The dessert was chocolate with sea salt. I can't believe they approved of this. I decided to watch Spider-Man No Way Home for the one trillion time to distract me from how awful the food was. Like, it was literally 99% water. Why is it water? Anyway, the screen in front of me also had a flight map, so I did a little bit of trolling and took some photos of some hilarious and relatable states. And obviously, I had to go and find. So anyway, we landed, and the first thing that struck me was the fact that it was insanely hot outside. I have no idea how you Americans live in this heat. We got to our hotel and slept after a long and insane day. Sausage Wizard presents the greatest segment of all time. Meanwhile, I gave my bestie Bob some control over my channel while I was gone. Was this a good idea? I'll let you be the judge of that. Actually, never mind. I won't let you be the judge of that. This will be the worst idea that I've ever made. Yes, even worse thing can stop me. I let someone from friends be Sausage Wizard while I was gone. A video was posted today I left titled, The New Sausage Wizard, Shocked Emoji, and in brackets, Shocking. Listen, the only thing shocking here is your upload schedule. We woke up and decided to explore our surroundings, but first, it was breakfast time. I've always wondered why America is so associated with obesity. That was until we went to breakfast. There was an all-you-can-eat buffet with so much food. There was waffle machines, and guess what? They had a Mickey Mouse waffle. You could tear off his ears and dip them in Nutella as he cried for help. And it was a damn good waffle as well. After breakfast, we went to a few stores. There was a bunch of those stores selling merchandise from the theme parks nearby, mostly Disney and Universal. I bought a few tins, like an Among Us plushie, and I decided to do an unboxing video from Mario Kart toy I found. Overall, the day was really just us wandering around and slowly passing away from the heat, and I got some pretty cool stuff from it too. I also played some games at the arcade, which is located 
right where we were staying. We went into the bed and slept again. Meanwhile, literally nothing happened. I, I wish I was joking. You know, it would be really nice if something did happen so the length of the video is longer. I would appreciate that a lot, but no, literally nothing happened. Stop me.